Welcome back to Cashflow Nexus, the channel of trading, faith, and wealth. And today we're going to be taking a look at XRP with Ichimoku analysis. Stay tuned. to you know take a look at some scripture before we get into any analysis on xrp with ichimoku i always like to give god his space and on my channel and i like to give him honor on this channel as well so he has a, a space on this channel that I, I use this platform to acknowledge god and i use it to exalt him because he what he's done for me and what he's doing for me currently and I'm seeing that God is actually touching people on my channel. So this is why I, I like to speak about these things. Uh, the scriptures today will be coming out of Psalms. Let's see. Psalms 97 and 10. So it says, You who love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. So if you're a follower of Christ, you know, that we're supposed to live righteous. We're supposed to live in a manner that's pleasing in God's eye. So one way to, you know, live pleasing in God's eye is to hate evil. And evil comes in many forms, shapes, and different ways. And the thing about it, it's sin is something that we should hate. Doing our actions that we do that are against a brother or sister or against somebody that you don't know, if it's offensive to them. You should hate how you treat somebody if it's offensive uh, in that manner. When it, when I say offensive, I'm not saying offensive as in you, uh, like you're correcting somebody or you disagree when it comes to the word of God. I'm saying offensive like you're condemning somebody, you're putting them down, you're mistreating them. That's something that you should hate doing. You should hate when you see somebody in the streets getting beat up for, you know, just getting like destroyed in the streets and people are just filming it we should hate the you know pedophilia we should hate all these things that are going on in the world so these are just some things that we that i will just wanted to say you know if you are you know if you do consider yourself a child of god i definitely believe that these are topics that need to be talked about and that these are topics that we need to shed light on because there's things in the world that are you know that are coming down and people say you know that's that's okay but the world is so you know lukewarm and america especially we we are we don't put we don't really you know talk about some stuff that need to be put in the light as far as sin and how as far as treating others and as far as uh hating evil so i just wanted to put that out there share that with you guys before i get into the xrp analysis so right now we're going to get into analysis stay tuned and let's go all right you guys we are now looking at xrp we are starting from the weekly time frame let's break it down to make it simple for what's going on i still stand by what i said before uh it's been ranging and like i said it has not broken this 21 cent level or this 18 level it's just boxed in here so this is going to be an interesting move for the long term. But one thing I do like, the reason why I started with this time frame is because I like this. We have C plus span A flat right here and we have B coming down. But what we need to see is something like this. So we need to see some action back up this way for us to start getting some a twist like this once we start getting our twist to look you know for price to move higher uh, another thing that i like to see i didn't really draw this too well but we do need to get above this level for price to react and come up higher for this cloud to you know for us to get you know go up this way it might be a while for price to start moving up but i i am eyeing you know july 27th as a date for the market to start making its move to the upside so we will see how price reacts on this day um let's see let's go down to the daily time frame 
daily time frame, this is where we're at. We're just boxed in. Nothing really, you know, to be, you know, nothing really nice here. XRP is just flat. Four hour time frame, we, we're flat too. But uh, we might get some price action right here, depending on how this candle closes. We have 43 minutes until this four hour candle closes, so we could get price action to the upside from what the four hour is showing. Uh, looking at it here, we definitely could get some price action. I, what I want to teach you guys, if you are interested in learning how to trade Ichimoku, this is the key doom. When key doom goes flat, this means it's a flat market. And when price or candles is far away from key doom, price usually wants to act as a magnet. I mean, key doom wants to act as a magnet and push price higher. Now, here's one thing that I am fearful of on this time frame. You got A, who spent A pointing down and B, Pointing down as well. I mean, flat here. So, what would happen for market to drop lower is this, and we will get a break at this level and go to the downside. Hopefully, we get like a retest and a break back up, but more than likely, it will probably drop down at that. So, that's what I see there. Uh, but we, it looks like market is trying to find its way up right now. Uh, let's go 15 minute time frame. So, yes, you see right here. Uh, what I will do, I will say market will go to the upside for this move. Right here, we have broken our key June right here. So that's a good sign. What needs to happen is price needs to, you know, get above here. But we will have to get a move on the lower time frame. Uh, this could also be a fake out here, depending on how this candle closes. So I will be monitoring this area. But for now, if I am going to take this trade, I will wait for the, you know, for a move on the lower time frame, possibly the five minute. And potential target areas, this is what I will put down for Fibonacci retracement. So let's say I enter in here, I will at least, you know, get at least this level here, take profit. So this is my forecast for the for now. Uh, let's see how this plays out, and also here as well. Let me also back quick right there. Okay, there we go. So let me do this really quick, you guys. That's a target area, so I'm gonna make the target areas red. perfect so these are my targets so right now this is where I'm looking for XRP to go up to if we fail to get through this then prices will definitely continue to dwindle to the downside right now this is what I'm seeing this is why I have this area marked up uh, we need to hold price needs to hold above this key doing level if price uh, manages to break back down to the downside then yeah, we will definitely have to look for for opportunities. Uh, as long as we hold above this blue line, we will stay bullish for now. But these are my targets for the meantime. Uh, just you no know, glancing at it, and let's see. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this technical analysis. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It was sweet, quick, straight to the point. Uh, XRP is looking to make uh, some major moves in the future, uh, especially when Ripple starts to get things ramped up with, you know, using XRP and banks using it. So once the demand goes up, price will definitely start moving higher and faster very quick like we had back in 2017. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this technical analysis. Like this video, comment, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on this video. And if you want to be a student, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on uh, Instagram, whatever social media you, you know you find me at. Uh, hit me up and you know ask to be a student. I'll definitely get you going in here. Uh, I post my students' results every now and again, so guys, you know they're making money. And I just taught them a new strategy just the other day, so. Uh, God bless me with that strategy. So I'm very thankful to you know, do this, be a teacher, be an educator, and also show you guys how to trade with the cloud. So stay tuned for the next video. And like I said, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. God bless you guys and peace.
Mm-hmm.